Hey guys, we're back for something really, really random. We're playing. What the heck are we playing? Bo 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 bo. Say that again. Bo 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 a million bows. Um, yeah, it's a PS2 game. Do uh, you want to give a little history about what it is, mate? Uh, so it's from 2003. It's a Japanese PS2 exclusive. Never left the country. Uh, it's based on an obscure anime manga series uh, based on the same name, uh, and it's the hero Bo 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 Bo, Bo uh, is the guy you're seeing on screen now, who fights with extra long nasal hair. That's right, from his nostrils. That's right. You heard me right. <laughs> um, completely, completely random, and, and you know that typical really out there Japanese sort of manga sort of vibe going on. Um, so how did you find um, the game though? Look, this is so random. Yeah, back in the day, you know, when researching obscure Japanese you know, PS2 gems, um, I remember seeing a thing about how it has the longest name of any PlayStation 2 game, or certainly, you know, the top three longest names. Guinness World Records. Uh, yeah, so that in itself is, is makes it sort of stand out. Um, and of course, it actually happens to be quite a good game, uh, unlike, you know, other tie-ins that, that may not be so good. This one actually... Holds up well, as you're about to find out. Um, so yeah, look, I'd, I'd known about it for years, and then I, I just thought I, it's time I sort of pulled the trigger and grabbed a copy uh, on eBay, um, and it's cheap. Um, you know, you're looking at sort of ten to twenty bucks, uh, no more than that. My copy is like the sort of best, the best of re-release uh, from Hudson Soft, um, which possibly has sort of nicer box art than the original version. It's got a nice sort of red framing. Uh, to sort of set it off, so let's get stuck in then. Okay. Yeah, we've actually put a bit of time on this already, so we're just going to show you a few stages and give you give you a bit of a taste of what it's like. It's There's only five stages. It's not a huge game, um, but yeah, these are your five bosses uh, that you unlock as you go along. Uh, so we'll jump in. Yeah, there is hidden items on on the stage as you go, and so it, it encourages some replayability. Like we we've obviously just played it the first time through just to beat the game, and then realised oh you can you know there's a bit of stuff we've missed so. There's definitely a bit of replayability. Um, yeah, and you've got, before you jump into a stage, uh, once you've unlocked a few items, you can sort of customise your player. Um, these are sort of your high, high score sort of com combo counter, has little sort of pictures connected to it. Uh, yeah, every, you've got to land three three hits and you, you'll see these guys pop up the top of the screen as we play the stage, hopefully we'll get some combos for you. Um, you've obviously got the different nostrils that you can find the nostril hair power-ups, um, and we've sort of discovered that some of the nostril hairs don't necessarily affect the enemies that you kill, but they might make it easier to get through a secret passage or to break the collectible items open, um, which hopefully you get to see in the video. So, so yeah, we'll jump right in and get a, get a bit, bit of a taste of the gameplay. And, um, and we reckon the first level has the best music in the game. It's so has, it plays with like yeah. So obviously the screen moves on its own, so we're not controlling the screen. Uh, Bobo 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 Bo Bo is just walking forward on the screen and it's like it's on rails. Kind of. Yeah, these the, sort of ninjas slash and you know underlings are kind of coming at you. Um, and you use the dual analog sticks to throw your nostril hairs in the directions of the people coming at you. So the left and the right analog sticks control each one, each side of his nostril. You can rotate them sort of 360. Yeah. Mostly you're sort of aiming to the left and the right of each one. So you've got higher. combos there, you've leveled up. So. And there's, there's the life bar in the top left hand corner, um, which you, ne you don't necessarily ever really get in a lot of trouble on the stage, but um, you've got to have enough health to get to get through the stage, and then at the end of the stage, if you've made it um, successfully with some life left over, you get to fight the boss battle. Um, I was sort of saying it, the, the vibe that it gives me off the bat was um, like a Gakesha Boy kind of vibe, in a sense that, I mean, I know Gakesha Boy is the side scroller and this is coming at the screen, but um, the idea that you kind of, the screen's moving at all times and you're just kind of interacting with the scenery. Um, yeah, that was my kind of first reaction to it. Oh, he's gone for the warp, guys. He's gone for the warp straight up. Uh, the vending machine. Uh, 
So we're not 100% sure yet, but we've discovered that this stage has like a, a bonus uh, secret entry um, and, and a secret boss. Um, we haven't put a lot, haven't put enough time into the rest of the stage to find out whether there's one on every stage, uh, whether this is just uh, exclusive to the first stage. But um, yeah, it's a pretty cool little feature that we found when looking for the items um, to unlock 100%. Oh, that was the guy with on the intro with yeah, the, yeah, the duck pants. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the duck appendage. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah. yeah, you've got a bomb attack to down the bottom oh, left yeah. hand of the screen. Yeah. His nostril hairs go crazy and rain down sweet nostril pain <laughs> for a set period. So there he is again. Yes, yeah, so he gave you some big health then. So certain characters in the stage, when you hit them, Will we'll give you a boost to your life bar. Why is there monkeys? Yeah. <laughs> Why not have monkeys? <laughs> Why is there not short hairs? Why is the uh, hundred percent? Oh, that's cool. You nailed it. Nice. So yeah, we'll get that for triggering a hundred percent of your health. Which I'm assuming you must advance the stage a little bit or, or something. But yeah, you get some extra points. Mm. But you can lose health during it too. We're saying it's not a golden ticket necessarily. It gives you a chance to rack up a, a bigger combo of all points, but you will lose health. So it's not yeah, too they certainly cool. ramp up the character. Like the, the 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 format stays the same, but the, the, the enemies tend to give you more hits and take a bit a lot more damage, and they kind of come at you at weird angles. Jumping out of the trees and out, or out of buildings and stuff like that, which uh, which affects it. So this isn't actually the first boss. So we discovered that this is a secret boss yeah, or, yeah. or a hidden boss. Turn a root boss. Yeah. And there's an attack phase and a, and a sort of a, a, a defense phase. So if you get it right, sweet circle, you attack him, and you actually build up his attack bar. But if you miss, he has an opportunity to throw attacks at you and you go into a defense mode and try to try to block his attacks. Um, but if you get a perfect six, which you're going for, uh, bummer. The, it's an instant the, the directions can get a little glitchy. Yeah, they can be a bit sensitive, can't they? You know, you miss it by just a just a hair and they won't give it to you. But we're also saying too, like it, sometimes the missing a combo can be advantageous because you, you can actually build up your life bar by by blocking his attacks. Um, so your life bar can actually get better by missing, um, if that makes sense. We'd usually play the volume turned down on the TV. You sort of do miss the volume a little bit. Yeah, because it's a bit of a cue. They sort of cue you in that when when the attacks. Mm, are well but that that's it. He's he's down. So yeah, the first time you do those boss battles. They feel a bit odd and a bit touchy, but if you bear with it, they're actually probably the most satisfying part of the game for me. Mm. Uh, especially when the when the you know the pressure's on and you're down in health, but they, they, they you can fight your way back into it. You know, never give up. You know, you can always string a combo in the in the rebuild phase uh, and then have another crack. And if you score a six hit knockout, it's uh, the feeling's amazing. Yeah. I just noticed that the symbol in the background between the guys, which yeah. is like a pirate head. That's actually the Shonen Jump uh, manga sort of serial magazine in Japan. Um, I'm pretty sure. So maybe the Bubba Bo must be affiliated with, with, with Shonen Jump. Because one, you get an A, B, C, you know, or an S rank if you've done it really well. So. Yeah, the other vibe we're saying the game kind of gives me a vibe of that of Katamari, almost in the, the soundtrack or something. Mm, the zaniness, you know, the zaniness of the soundtrack yeah. and kind of the art yeah. style, maybe a little bit. Yeah, like it doesn't it obviously doesn't eclipse that, but there's certainly a flavour of that. And the higher your health, the crazier your dancing becomes. Yeah, and, and to the opposite effect, effect when you when you get down to, to almost nothing, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll be almost staggering up through staggering, the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing on the dance much at all. It's a nice touch. Um, these guys are taking out look like they've been scribbled, you know, coloured in by yeah, like, yeah, primary yeah. school kids. And you've got flying bird man. It's just it's so Japanese. Um, it's, it's awesome. If you love Japanese culture in this game. Great voice acting here. <laughs> <laughs> if only we knew what he was saying. That's it. 
Yeah, there it is. Bo 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 bo. Um, for the PS2, 2003, Hudson Soft. Yeah. Rest in peace, Hudson Soft. Um, so we're going over what we said. Like some, some pros, we, we love the soundtrack. Obviously, we love the quirkiness of it. Um, and not a hard, not a hard game to get your hands on. No. Um, I mean, you you won't stumble across it in Australia necessarily, but if you're in Japan or if you're on eBay, it's around. Yeah, yeah and you know the, the actual gameplay itself is a, is a lot of fun. You know, sh- yeah. just just yeah. shooting the enemies with with the nostril hair. You know, and, and the totally, bombs. Totally Boss battles in, are fun. Totally import friendly. Don't have any fears about that. You know, you won't be able to understand it or you won't be able to navigate the menus. Yeah, it has not been an issue at all. No, where, you know, Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. So there you go, guys. Um, that is Bo 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 Bo. Bo. I love saying that word. I'm gonna say it twice. Bo 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 for the PS2. Uh, hope you dig it, and uh, yeah, see if you can find yourselves a copy. See you next time.